1964, Japan launched the first high-speed train system in the world, the Tokaido Shinkansen. In the following years, many other countries in Europe and Asia built their own high-speed rail systems. Today, China accounts for two-thirds of the world's high-speed rail systems. In Africa, a few countries have been mulling on the idea of connecting their cities with the high-speed rail. South Africa has been considering a high-speed line from Johannesburg to Durban, which would cut the journey time from 12 hours to 3 hours. The line would then extend to Cape Town. In North Africa, a Trans-Maghreb line is in the plans to link Morocco, Tunisia and Algeria. Egypt is also planning a system linking their cities along the Red Sea to the Mediterranean. Big infrastructure projects take a lot of planning and they are faced with major hurdles and obstacles, especially funding. So it is normal to find many critics opposed to major projects like high-speed rail. This makes the execution of such projects to remain a pipe dream for many countries, even the most developed. For example, the California high-speed rail project in the United States has been faced with so many obstacles which might threaten its completion. For Africa, one country was able to deal with many of the challenges and was able to launch a high-speed line. This is the Al Burak. The first and only high-speed train in Africa launched on November 26, 2018 by Moroccan King Mohammed VI. The train runs between the city of Casablanca and Tangier. Three months after launch, the train had transported over 600,000 passengers. The growth of passengers has been continuing week over week, month over month. According to the operators, ONCF, most passengers were particularly attracted by the reduced travel time, assistance and services at the station, comfort on board, punctuality exceeding 93%, and attractive prices. To better meet expectations and growing needs, Al Burak increased the number of trains from 18 to 20 a day for both directions. So what can you expect when you ride the Al Burak? The train sets are Yulu Duplex, which is the high-speed double-decker electric multiple unit manufactured by French company Alstom. Their passenger capacity is 533 across two first-class cars, five second-class cars, and a food service car. The train has a top speed of 320 km per hour, which can be achieved on the line from Tangier to Kenitra. However, the line from Kenitra to Casablanca was rated for 160 km per hour when the train was launched due to track limitations. Plans to upgrade that section of the line to high-speed trucks are already in place with construction scheduled for 2020. New stations were built in Tangier, Rabat, Kenitra, and Casablanca. The new stations offer an enriched experience and accessibility. Adapted to the specific needs of people with reduced mobility, reception and assistance points, comfortable waiting rooms, lounge for first class travelers, prayer rooms, shopping and catering areas, electronic displays and Wi-Fi. For the same destination, the price of your ticket may vary depending on the class you choose, first or second, the date of purchase, the earlier you purchase your ticket, the less you pay, the date and time of your trip, tickets are cheaper when traveling off peak hours. Before boarding, employees will come you and check your ticket, then direct you to your car. Access to the platforms is possible 20 minutes before the departure. You must arrive at the dock no later than 2 minutes before departure time. After this time, access to the docks is no longer allowed. On board the train, comfort is guaranteed in both classes with soft lighting, air conditioning, individual seats with headrests, folding shelves, several luggage spaces and electrical outlets.
In first class, you enjoy optimal comfort with spacious reclining seats and individual lamps. Riders have luggage space in dedicated spaces above the seats, at the end and in the middle of each car for larger luggage. The cafeteria located in the center of the train offers a wide choice of cold dishes, sandwiches, snacks, salads as well as hot and cold drinks. The Tangier Casablanca high-speed line is an incredible technological and economic challenge for Morocco. It is also an industrial and technical feat and a unique human adventure. This project is the first step in the implementation of a master plan for high-speed lines for the gradual construction of a network of about 1500 kilometers. Morocco has proved to the rest of Africa that anything is possible. This is just the beginning of the future of Africa. There are major railway projects all over the continent, which is a step in the right direction when it comes to rail transport and moving people in general.